a little attitude. I'm not saying have too much of the attitude <laughs> because, well, it gets rough. Mama raised a kid up in stacks one day. All the things she did were for stacks one day. Money, power, fame, grinding hard, feeling insane. Changes in a day, upgrades in one day. and welcome back home today we are going to be talking about something a little sensitive if i should put it that way we are going to be talking about well we are actually going to have a motivational talk right we're going to be talking about confidence you know your self-esteem and everything you know so i'm going to be sharing with you guys the one thing that has actually brought me to be the kind of person that I am today that has actually built me up to be who I am today you know in life people face different obstacles and challenges and all that and it gets to a point where people contribute to your confidence you know and yeah people get to a point where they say things about you that you take it in and believe it to be true so today we are breaking that chain right hmm we are going to be talking about <laughs> let's say it let's see it today we are going to be talking about my height guys hey hey so i am <clears throat> guys i'm very short right i am very short and i'm so tiny that everybody this is me and teases me about my height and the way I'm so tiny like everybody's like oh I can just carry you around oh I can just do this to you oh I can throw you around oh I can play with you like a doll and I'm like excuse me you're hurting my feelings and they don't see that right because now I'm short because I'm short well not now I've always been short well because I'm short people have this thing that oh please they feel like they can take me for granted, if I should put it that way. So, I got to a point where I realized that, girl, you know what? Dynamite come in small packages, and you are one of them. So, I was like, whoo-hoo, the world is about to see me and the real me. And what I do, <laughs> so, guys, what happened is, you know, so this is what happened i was like from now onwards i do the impossible because i love adventure i'm more of an adventurous person i love taking risks <laughs> in a way so i decided to build up a wall right inside me right i had to be this tough human being i had to know how to stand up for myself and i had to learn how to stand up for others okay so i have a best friend She's as short as I am, <laughs> right? We are, and everybody calls us twins. Well, we love that. We love the fact that we're short. So we'll be like, especially at school, it will get to a point where people come and they start saying uh, things about our height and whatnot, you know. Or there's just that, like, they have this thing that they kind of want to bully us, you know, because of our height. They think they can do anything to us. So, I had to be the tough one, you know, because she's all sweet and stuff. I was like, girl, we are not going down that drain. No, no. <laughs> so, we, okay, I, <laughs> I became the tough one between the two of us. To stand up for my friend and myself, we got to do things that every single person was doing because you realize that there are like certain things that they do at school, like certain activities. And sometimes we get there and they actually start making fun of us. They'll be like, you guys can't do this. Oh, can't you see you're too short? So we're like, no, you know what? We are going to show you that we are not short. So let's talk about confidence, guys. I decided to join and do whatever. Every single thing that everybody was doing. It got to a point that I started playing soccer at school. <laughs> Yes, I started playing soccer at school because I believe that um, there's nothing that is impossible and there are no limits, you know, in life. There are no limits. 
so me being the short person I am, they told me, no, you have to go do, you have to go for netball and whatever. They signed me up for netball and everything. And I was like, on the day, I was like, watch me go play soccer. So, guys, I've become this one human being who believes that um, certain things you are the way you are because of certain things because there is something that you need to push in you to get you exactly where you want to be so with me being the shortest human being i decided to do every single thing i decided to go every single way if i wanted to sing and i feel like you know what i can sing i tell myself girl you can sing i sing girl you can dance i dance you know it was Guys, being shot sometimes is just, yeah, that, you know. People don't really get to understand how you feel because uh, you were always the tiny one. Oh, tiny, come here. Oh, small one, you're doing this. Oh, small one, you're going to get hurt, you know. But it's not that. It's about you guys also realizing that short people are human beings, firstly. And you can't just take them for granted. You can't play around with them because it's just wrong. You know, it is just wrong. But let's move on. Right. So let's talk a little bit on uh, self-confidence. Yeah. I decided to be confident in my height. And I told myself that, you know what, it's just a height. There are things that these people who are taller than me can't even do, you know. So guys, I have come to talk about. So I decided to be this one person who gets into every single thing. And talking about confidence, I feel most of us, we are affected by the way, um, people look at us you know i feel like okay actually it's this thing that people look at you the way they look at you and they say things about you the way they're saying them because you give them the power you know i feel like we hold the power to how people look at us and what people think about us if you get to a place and you literally act like you don't know anything or you are acting like oh no i can't do this oh no this and that people are going to look at you that way they'll misinterpret you you know get to a place and show them that you know what even though i don't know what i'm doing but i'm quite confident that i can do this you know learn all those things be that person who is just so open doing every single thing be an open-minded human being <laughs> because guys it gets hectic out there you know and i feel like sometimes we as people kind of close ourselves in like i can't do this oh what will people say stop thinking about what people will say this is about you you know this is about you either you are tall you are short if you are tall girl be modeling out there be modeling and let everybody see that oh she's a model even if they come and tell you, oh, you can't do this, you can't model, you can't. Don't let people's words dwell in you. Don't let them get to you to a point that you start believing them to be real. You know, you start taking everything that everybody is saying. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, people have different opinions. And yes, we are all entitled to our, opini our opinions, but... Like some things are just a no no. You can't walk up to somebody and tell them that no, you are this kind of a person or you are like this. You know, you as a person should it should get to a point that you as a person you motivate somebody out there, right? Get like make it a task that I am going this week, I want to motivate five people or I want to build self confidence in five people right the fact that you can't do it oh well other people can't do it for themselves 
doesn't mean that you can't do it as well, right? Walk up to somebody who's walking in the street if you see that the person is a little uncomfortable about their outfit or something, because that shows, you know, maybe she's walking in um, a short skirt or something, but she doesn't feel as confident. Walk up to her and say, hi, you are looking amazing. That skirt suits you. You walk away, you know? You don't have to be a pervert about it, but try and build confidence in somebody else and the key to be confident it starts in the mind or should i say starts in the heart you know it should start with yourself the more you encourage people to do good things and feel good about themselves you also start feeling good about yourself that wow did you see no no did you see what he ended up doing like you know pump somebody up tell them you are good, you are great, you are this person, you are that person. So, guys, that's it from I. Okay, let's take, for instance, a relationship, right? You are in a relationship and your boyfriend is all about, why are you wearing that skirt? I mean, why are you like that? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And at the end of the day, the same person will come to you telling you that you can't wear like this, you can't dress like this, you can't act like this, or you can't even talk or walk that way. You see him with somebody else who is who actually does the same things that he's telling you not to do. I mean, I don't get that. But if you are with somebody, try to be courageous enough. Try to encourage them all the time. Make sure they are that person who would say, yeah. You know what? No matter what, my partner is going to be gay for me. I mean, everybody has flows. We all, we all get to a point where we don't do things the right way. But if you have somebody who's holding your hand, who's by your side, you can do anything. I mean, believe it with your heart that, you know what, I can do anything. You know, and you will do anything. You can succeed. You don't need somebody else to tell you that. You are going to be successful. Tell yourself that I'm going to be successful. Try every single thing. If it means you have to go drive a truck, girl, go and drive a truck. Because the problem that we have is we put limits for ourselves. Like, oh no, I can't do that because I'm a girl. No, girls can also drive trucks. I mean, hello. The, the primary thing here is driving. Do not put limits for yourself in life. Have it that i am going to push and i'm going to be this kind of a human being and i'm going to do it all the way right yep and if it may if you feel good about something i mean enjoy it you know treasure it we get to a point where you are doing something right and you kind of have this mindset that says oh but what are people going to say oh but no don't you think you're doing it a little too much i say go all out you know we need to go all out because you never know what is out there until you go out there you know be the human being that tells herself or himself that this is my thing and i'm going to do it this is i and i'm going to be out there you know don't wait for somebody else to come and motivate you yes it's good to be told by somebody else that you know what you're a great person you're beautiful and all that and with Oh, I'm sorry I have to say this, but girls, you do not need a guy to walk up to you and tell you that you are beautiful. I mean, believe it, because we end up getting hurt because somebody comes and says stupid words that are all over the dictionary. He comes and he'll be like, you are so beautiful, oh, you smell nice, oh, you are so gorgeous, oh, I love your eyes. Tell him that thank you for loving my eyes, but I love my eyes more. And you know what? I know that I have beautiful eyes. Do not wait for him to come and tell you things. Of course, we get to a point where we need somebody to tell us that we are beautiful. But don't make it the center of who you are. Like, you should know who you are. Get to a point where you tell yourself that, you know what, guys? I am beautiful. And when you tell yourself, you start believing that you are beautiful. That when somebody walks up to you, every chick and joke can just come and be like, girl, you're beautiful. We can't be falling for words. Stop falling for words. If you're beautiful, yes. You know what? Be bold enough to tell him, yes, I'm beautiful. And I know that I'm beautiful. You know, have that little attitude. I'm not saying have 
too much of the attitude <laughs> because well it gets rough but guys have confidence in yourself either you are short tell them that you know what my height is not gonna determine who i am going to be because it's just a height at the end of the day and you are not the only human being who's short well <laughs> you're not the only human being who's short but guys be sure to love yourself love yourself first be confident in yourself tell yourself that you are a great person if you have to repeat those words every single day you wake up then do it when you wake up i am great i am a great person when you go out there you believe it you face your fears you face challenges from people when they come up to you saying different things tell them you know what it's cool i understand whatever you're saying but nah i'm not gonna let that break me don't let people come to you and break you because you were shot so what if i'm shot there's a reason why you were born shot i mean you just have to discover it. we are going to go through the journey of discovery like you need to discover yourself at some point you need to know what you like what you love what you enjoy doing what makes you happy and things like that so on this journal this is what's going to happen we're going to be having different conversations with dr Likabo. you are going to be seeing him more often with me <laughs> that's going to be my partner right there we are going to go out there tune in watch be inspired be motivated and if you have something that you'd like to say or you'd like to see me talk about like just put it out there and well whatever you guys really want to hear and whatever you guys want to want me to talk about just put it in the comment section and we will be taking it from there each and every time we are going to be having different dates either we are out there or we are in here either it's motivational talk whatever it is you guys you name it either you have questions about me i'm going to be answering them you just have to boom 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 put them out guys they call me zen of the journal because i love journals i'm obsessed about journals so i'm going to be having dates with you guys right here at the niche inhabitants if this is going to be my journal i'm gonna i'm just gonna come and offload and talking doing things everything and well that's it from i zane of the channel guys and so with that being said i have to run guys but i love you guys and we'll be catching up for a day and be sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and hit the notification button and you should also like and share and I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you, the inhabitants. The inhabitants. This is a home, guys. And I love you guys.